Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Excel Sessions and today we will learn rounding of numbers which means making a number simpler for calculation as per our requirement but keeping the resultant value closer to original number. In this video we will learn 8 functions which can be used for rounding of numbers in Excel. Watch the video till end to understand all the functions you can use to round the numbers. For an example, we have calculated average of given numbers using average function in E2 cell. To convert this number into simple form, we can use round function. We can wrap any function which returns number like sum, sum if, average, average if inside the round functions. To use round function, type equals to round, open bracket. Now select the number. In our example, it is average of the number. So select cell E2, comma, type the number of decimal places. So in this example, I'm pressing 1, which means rounding the number to one decimal place. Closing bracket, press enter. Result is 323.2. To understand the second parameter, let's take another example. Now in column B and C, we have mentioned the number which we will round off and the different decimal places. For the first example, type equals to round, open bracket. Now select the number which is in column B. So select B2, comma. Now the number of digit is zero. Remember, both parameters are mandatory in round function. Closing bracket, if zero is used as a decimal places, then number will be rounded to the nearest integer press enter the result is 235 now in the second example again use round function open bracket select the number comma now this time the number of digit is positive which is 2 closing bracket now in this case the number will be rounded to given decimal places press enter and the result is 234.15 so there are two digits after decimal places. Now in the third example, type equals to round, open bracket, select the number, comma. Now if the number of decimal places is negative, in this case, the resultant number will be rounded to left of the decimal and the number will be rounded to nearest multiple. In our example, minus two is used Hence, the result is 800. Now, if I change the number of digit to minus 1, in that case, the result will be 750. Round up function always round up a number to a specified number of decimal places. To use round up function, type equals to round up, open bracket, select the number, comma, and select the number of decimal places. In round up function, if number of decimal place is zero, the number is always rounded up to nearest integer. Closing bracket and press enter. Now in second example, type round up, open bracket, select the number, comma. If positive number is used as the number of digits after decimal, in that case, number will round up to the given number of decimal places press enter and the result is 234.15. In third example, select the number. Now again, the number of digits after decimal place is negative. Type minus two or select C7, closing bracket. Now if we use negative number, the number will always round up to left of the decimal places. In our case, we have used minus two. So the number will be multiple of 100. Round down function always rounds a number down to specified number of decimal places. Now in first example, type equals to round down, open bracket, select the number, comma. If the number of digit is zero, then number will round it down to nearest integer. In second example, type round down, open bracket, select the number, comma and in the second parameter if the positive number is used the number will always round it down to given decimal places closing bracket because 2 is used 
hence the number will round down to two decimal places in third example again round down open bracket select the number comma select the second parameter which is a negative number in this case the number will be rounded down to left of the decimal places and will be multiple of 100 so result is minus 700 m round function returns a number rounded to desired given multiple now the rule is that if remainder of dividing the number by given multiple is greater than or equal to the half the value of given multiple the resultant number is rounded up to desired multiple else rounded down to desired multiple so in our example type equals to m round open bracket number is 77 comma the multiple is 5 closing bracket press enter the number is rounded down to 75 because remainder is less than half of multiple now in another example type m round open bracket the number is now 309 comma multiple is 5 closing bracket press enter now the result is 310 because the remainder is greater than half of multiple floor and ceiling function is similar to m round function in floor function resultant number is always rounded down to desired multiple and in ceiling function number is always rounded up to given multiple to use floor type equals to floor open bracket select the number comma number is 5 closing bracket press enter result is 75 because number is always rounded down in another example type floor open bracket select the number comma significance is 5 closing bracket press enter result is 305 the number is always the multiple of the significance ceiling function returns the number rounded up to nearest multiple of significance to use ceiling type equals to ceiling open bracket select the number comma significance is 5 closing bracket and press enter result is 80 which is a multiple of 5 in another example type equals to ceiling open bracket select the number comma significance is 5 closing bracket and press enter the resultant is 310 which is again multiple of the 5 int function returns the number rounded down to nearest integer by removing the fractional part to use int function type equals to int open bracket select the number closing bracket and press enter the fractional part is removed now in case of the negative number type equals to int open bracket select the negative number closing bracket and press enter the result is the number which is rounded down to the rest integer trunk function truncates the number to an integer by given precision of truncation to use trunk function type equals to trunk open bracket select the number comma now the second parameter is optional and default value is zero you can specify zero closing bracket and press enter the result is 77 now in the same example if i use one then trunk function will truncate the number to the specified number of digits in case of the negative number type equals to trunk open bracket select the number which is negative comma specify to closing bracket and press enter it only truncates the number to the specified number of digits in this video we have learned eight different functions which you can use for rounding the numbers if you like the content press thumbs up and share video with your friends and colleagues subscribe the channel and press bell icon to get the notification when we upload a new video thanks for watching